what exactly is an IP version 6 address and how does it differ from IP version 4? First of all, IP stands for Internet Protocol. By definition, a protocol is an official procedure. So just like there is an official protocol when you send a letter in the mail to have a properly formatted address in the middle, a return address in the upper left corner, and a stamp in the upper right corner, the Internet also has this set of rules. In this analogy, you can think of houses as computers where each house has an IP address, and you can think of the letter as a packet of information that's being sent across the internet. These right here are IP version 4 addresses, which are made up of a set of four digits between 0 and 255 that are separated by dots. There are two to the power of 32 different combinations of IP version 4 addresses, and if you do the math, that means there are around 4.3 billion unique IP addresses available in the world. There is this misunderstanding that because of the rise of cell phones and smart devices, we are running out of IP addresses, which is actually only partially true. Yes, indeed, in January 2011, the last IP version 4 address was allocated. But more importantly, you need to understand that pretty much any device behind a Wi-Fi router, for example, will be assigned a local IP address that's handed out by the router itself, and this does not count as one of the 4.3 billion. Regardless, there is still certainly a need to increase the number of IP addresses available, and that is what IP version 6 aims to do. As you know by now, this is what an IP version 4 address looks like, and this is what an IP version 6 address looks like. IPv6 addresses are made up of eight groups of hexadecimal digits separated by colons. In case you're not familiar, we count in decimal, which has 10 digits that go from 0 to 9, whereas hexadecimal has 16 digits that go from 0 to F. There are 2 to the power of 128 different combinations of IP version 6 addresses, and this equates to over 340 undecillion different combinations, which is such a large number that it's very hard to even comprehend. We are currently in a transition from IP 4 to 6, and the completion of this migration is likely years away, so today most devices need to be able to support both protocols. Right now when you go to a website like wordpress.org, behind the WordPress domain name is actually an IP address of the server that is hosting the website, and in fact we can see this information if we look under the hood right here. For this particular site, you can actually put this information into your address bar and it will redirect you to the home page. Alternatively, there is a command that is built into pretty much every computer called ping that allows you to get the IP address associated with a domain name. Here, if we ping google.com, we get back the IP version 4 address, and if we ping 6 or sometimes ping dash 6, we get back the IP version 6 address. Similarly, you can sometimes take the IP version 6 address put it in square brackets in your web browser, and if you're lucky, you'll get a page to resolve like this. I cannot finish this video without addressing the elephant in the room, and that is IP version 5. IP version 5 was an experimental protocol called the Internet Stream Protocol that was never adopted, but it did lead to the advancement of technologies like voice over IP. Check out some of these videos if you want to dive deeper into the technology that the internet is built on, and if you do, I will see you over there.